yes. One man army. Watch me. <clears throat> Guarantee I'll kill at least uh, 40 before they shut my head off. You take the 200 on the left, <laughs> I'll take the 200 on the right. <laughs> I hate to tell you. No, I want the two hundred on the on the other side. You can take the two hundred on the other side. Uh. I, I hate to tell you, Tiberius, but I think I could kill more mm. than you. Sure, you can. When you are fighting <laughs> alone in Imperial Vested territory. Good luck. And in a desert. Mm. Try surviving without water. Good luck. I just drink the ocean. Oh boy. I mean, considering the war. Ah, uh, I'd become some of the, some of those deranged stalers then. Did a pretty good job on keeping the orcs back. It's a little salty. It's all good. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter that that noble left anyway. Look, we don't even know. Can't say that, my lord. Well. Can't say that ever again. <laughs> I can say whatever the fuck I want, I'm a goddamn noble. I didn't realize that they had actually taken seriously though. I tried to preserve his honor. Tab and empty. Is this what's happening? Alright, I'm cooking then. No. Excuse me, Lord. I just wanted to inform you. I mean, a couple of lads went out go looking for uh, that missing wagon of yours. Just wanted to inform you. We went all the way up the left way, past Cross Keys, checked around the shrine. Other than a uh, boat just being out by uh, nearby the shrine town, uh, couldn't really come across any of the wagon or anything like that. Mm, appreciate so, it. I'll let you know that area's kind of been scattered out. There you go, Simon. Thank you. The only place I Samuel. Of is more. Look, I've only just met you, I'm sorry. Inner, inner to the lands where all Samuel. the orcs and shit might be, but I don't know if it's either that or they might have just booked it down the main road on the wagon. Love it. Thank oh, the you. orcs raided them and took it. One rider. Oh, really? Carriage. Could be. Could be. Easy picking. <clears throat> Poor Harry. I mean, we all now know he's a bottom bitch. Oh, well, we know why he's grumpy. Mm. Oh, he's... yeah. Well, yeah, he's clogged up. Thing. Oh. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what I got out of it. When he said, um... Oh. Yeah, when I said, did you, like, was it, uh, did you relieve pressure? And he said, almost. It's... Oh. Kind of gets me thinking. I, I, I got from that, uh, from what I got from that, he was very much not prepared. And uh, he was very much thrown around. <laughs> really? You think Venora? Mm, yes. Listen, never judge the age of an elf and what they're capable of compared to a man of his age. I mean, it's been years. She may say, she may say she's a young elf, but... It's been yeah. years since her last uh, husband, so she's... You know what? That's not even something I need to think about. <laughs> Probably put the thought in the back of your mind, my friend. Yeah. Still. I don't know why people are coming to me with relationship problems. I was surprised you, you were the first one for him. I didn't know you both were that close. I mean, we talked about it before. He's been wanting to look after her for a while, you know, like just be there for her and all that jazz. And I just said, you know, like you gotta, I don't know. I don't know why I give love advice. I, I don't exactly have a good track record. <clears throat> uh, experience says all. And sometimes even the experience of loss is valuable. <sighs> uh, everything's a fucking teacher, isn't it? Pain or whatever. 
Life teaches you everything. And pain is sometimes the best teacher. <laughs> I've had enough lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kyla. You're too young to say that. Get another hundred years under your belt and come back and say that to me. Oh, God. Never thought I'd end up here. <laughs> World is a strange place, my friend. <laughs> and it's getting stranger. What you said is true. No, what you pointed out, really. <clears throat> yes. The way things are escalating, it'll get worse for me, I fear. Haven't even had time to mull over what we were talking about this morning. <clears throat> Been difficult to say the least. <sighs> Just busy. <clears throat> Actually, something to think about. <clears throat> Apparently Rose gonna be doing some shit as well in fucking the uh <clears throat> the vineyard that night as well during the festival. <sighs> Stealing a bunch of shit. Yeah. But he doesn't have a choice because Sarkozy's basically got him by the balls. We have what? We have somebody snooping around for information. We have somebody stealing from them. We have a suicidal uh, diplomat. And what else am I missing? Well, I'm hoping this theft thing at the very least gives a good distraction. That's why I didn't say anything. I told this motherfucker to stay low the entire time. I told him this months ago, and he didn't, and now he's in over his head, so. <clears throat> Considering that was a place where that was stored. You don't think he, he has no idea what he's about to walk into? Nope. Hmm. <clears throat> So, I'm hoping that whatever they do will draw any attention towards there. Maybe even, uh, maybe even from the keep. Well, if others are scuffered, the whole party will be thrown in disarray. That could even put our other individual in trouble if he's caught. <sighs> Thankfully, they don't know about each other's doings. <clears throat> For now. Yeah. It also makes me concerned as to what else is happening there that I don't know about. <clears throat> and anticipate everyone's actions. Yeah. <sighs> Wonder what your father has been up to this whole time, to be honest. <sighs> well. Egon was asking about him today and was like, do you even know where he is? And I said, no idea. He'd have to be held up somewhere. He wouldn't just be out in the fucking woods. That'd be too exposed. I just don't know where he would be. <clears throat> it's probably... Because if he's stolen the lands. I don't know. I have a rough direction and that's about it. But even then, me not being in contact with him might even be better. Honestly, I would agree. 
We've noticed some people once in a while in the street corners peering at towards the shop. Like, we still have eyes on us. Definitely. That way I can't be followed, missives intercepted, or whatever. I just... would like him to know that I'm okay, you know? I'm sure if you weren't okay, Gala, you would have heard. Yeah, I guess. If a lord died, a lordly, it would be the hot topic of the entire grounds. It would spread wide across the dynasty. I meant Death more so... is not something they can wipe under the rug. I meant more so, you know, being tortured within an inch of my fucking life or something. <clears throat> the only flaw that I saw with him leaving me here was that I could have as easily become a hostage and would have forced him to, you know, come in. I guess he had faith in whatever justice system is here. <clears throat> What's left of it? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Hope he's alright. Well, I know anything about your father that I've seen in over the years of hearing the grandeurs of him being on the field of battle. He's a stubborn man to die. Stubborn man in general. It runs in the family. <laughs> I just feel like these are so, the last proper years I'm going to have with him, you know, and I spend more time away from him than with him. Which is the nature of the job, I understand, but, you know, I miss my dad. I think it's more, in fact, he has faith in you than being away. Yeah. And seeing you grow, Kyla, is something he probably values more than anything you could probably imagine. <laughs> Done a lot of growing over the last couple of months, that's for sure. I learned a lot about being in charge. <clears throat> well, one day you'll be a fine commander, leading thousands of men to the field of battle. <laughs> Oof. And thwarting our greatest enemies. Makes me queasy just thinking about it. Oh. Knowing you, you'll take that queasiness <clears throat> and turn it into something actually surprising that no one will expect. I tend to do that. You put a lot of faith in me, Tiberius. <laughs> Isn't faith just what I've seen? I've known a lot of male drones in my life. A lot of them. Many were very brave. Had grand ideas. Wanted a better life. If all of them could see you right now, you'd be a living image of some of the things they dreamed of. Never even really considered that, truthfully. I always figured they would be disgusted by me, you know? Not all drow believed in the system that the matrons believed. Not all of them. Anyways, I have to go speak with the sergeant on the walls, see if he will listen to my request. <clears throat> I'll leave you to it, my friend. Of course. Find me if you need me. Oh, don't try to miss me too much, and try to avoid getting pulled into Harry's nefarious talks of his capabilities in the rest... in his, uh, love life. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah.
Now, when you saw Tiberius' face for that line, for a moment, you saw... Every time he talks about Astagon, every time he's talked about home, he's always had this pain looked on his face. But when he mentioned the other male drow, the other people, you saw what could only be described as grief that followed through it. The pain of things that men might have witnessed in the Underdark. The things they do to the male drow. You've heard some of the things he's mentioned. But the man's lived it. And left it. How is he here? And what about these other male drow he speaks of? Right. Just thinking. Good. <laughs> I neglect thought as it comes. Yeah. So, where is everybody, by the way? I've not seen Sarah nor Harper. <clears throat> Beats me. I wasn't around much yesterday. Hmm. I was preoccupied. Me neither. No. Busy going on a loop around a damn province, running from orcs, conducting business. They were with me then, but I suppose they left somewhere by nightfall. <sighs> you don't think they got grabbed, do you? No. I believe there was talks about Kalbasra, but that's probably where they went. Why would they go to Kalbasra? Not a clue. None of my business. Anything we had to do with it, we're done with. Unless you plan to go back there anytime soon. No, my business was wrapped up there. Well, at least as far as I know. Uh. Is Venora come looking for you to shout in your ear about inevitable doom? No. Uh, she mentioned something about the orc steel is getting better. <clears throat> That's true. They've got a forge up and someone to forge for them. A Dowie, last I heard. Hmm. <clears throat> Also, they have mounts now. They can have as much steel as they want. Yes, these dogs I've heard about are wolves. Not confident thoughts, I will say, jousting against orcs, but that uh, might have to happen. <laughs> Fucking hell. Mm -hmm. Seems like a gradual and stacking amount of problems with those greenskins. Grayskins, too, apparently. No, just the green skins is everything. Indeed. <clears throat> but with horrible days makes way for better ones, eventually. <laughs> yeah, I've been fucking waiting. Haven't we all? Yeah, we got one. We did. Yeah, we got one made. Yeah, we can sell it to you. Whenever you're ready for it. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out where I taught you so I can get a price on her for the for the quiver. I'm Probably a check apothecary. I'm gonna pretend like I wasn't just asked that. Yeah, I saw her around town earlier, or at least walking past, so... I ask because I think you need one. Doesn't matter what I need. What I need is this province to not sure fall the fuck apart. It can, it can do that without you, and with you. Make time for yourself, lad. <laughs> Miss Basil? How can I help you? Everything okay? Not really, no. My house was flipped upside down. I'm sure. Did Clifford tell you? No. Hmm. 
Das ist einfach ein Wort des Wurm. Apparently, the, uh, there's a situation that occurred. I, I don't know if I can even say it out loud. And uh, somebody that I was looking after was taken from my home. Hmm. Leaving another person that I was taking after crying alone in a flipped over crib. My house was destroyed. Do you have any idea who did this? I have no clue, but Clifford does. Hmm. I'm not one that gets frank, frantic like this over something, but when it comes to other people getting involved, then there's my frantic moment. It sounds like it requires other people getting involved. It's not exactly... Clifford apparently can handle it himself, so I'm just going to let him handle it himself. Like hell. I'll interject by force if I must. Well, some Even already attempted to get some sort of information from him and didn't get anything, so... It's not like <sighs> they didn't rob me either or anything. If he's withholding information like that, then he's putting other people at risk. Okay. He's reckless. Just I keep on the cover, but there uh, is something of great evidence I do need to tell you. Alright, no let's worries. buy that boat. Alright, right. okay. Add it to the list. Thankfully, oh, looks like uh, the biggest sorrow. I would I make this one wait. <laughs> kind of anything. Everything you need. I guess in a way it resolved itself, but more of a prelude to maybe to what is to come. Go on. Lenora, she had gone out. Apparently, the woods had spoke to her. Apparently, something of a great battle. A battle between the Inquisitor and over forty Grey Orcs. Armed to the teeth. And with superior arms and armor. He holds up half of an orcish breastplate that is refined metals. All of them are dead, but you know orcs as well as I do. They don't give up. They just come back with a bigger group. My theory is that damned forge, the one that Lord Morden always spoke of, it was... Oh yeah, the one that we were going to get rid of? Well, he was under the pretense that it would be remain spotty. Orcs aren't known for craftsmanship, they're known for just putting together everything and anything they can find. Have a Dawe with them. Find metals on... Forcing them to Dawe. work. Yes. Orcs That's... keep prisoners. They, they do if they have value, I guess. Remember, these aren't regular orcs, they're being led by lieutenants and war bosses. I know they were capable of speech, from what you all told me, but such coherent thoughts. Again, <clears throat> they're being coerced and led. They know the significance of good steel. And good defenses. Apparently, they were spotted they erecting. Also strategic targets. They were also erecting stone barricades and walls. I can't begin to think they're mindless creatures anymore when they're having thoughts and ideas like this. They're yep. not. They're in the army. They're in the woods, and they're moving. And nobody up there gives a shit because they think they're mindless animals. <laughs> Yep. 
I would almost say if you could just take it to the face and shove it in their face, but they wouldn't probably believe you that it's Oh, oh trust me. If I could, I would shove this damn breastplate down their throat. Ease, dang. Ease got us into this mess. Ease allows the mind to think. You told me that. Well, yeah, well, maybe I was wrong. You're not wrong, Tank. So what do you want me to do with this? Leave it by the forge, we'll try politically or... Politically or practically, this is better in your hands than mine. Leave it by the forge, we'll analyze it, see what we can find any weaknesses or any problems with it. You don't even know what kind of shit we're in. If nothing else, use it as proof to get the other nobles off their ass and stop being high and mighty. <laughs> if I had this sway. Do you wish to be alone? Yeah. You know where to find me. Appreciate it. Doing? You're okay with the ambiguous amount of good? In fact, he might be here. I think I spotted him briefly behind. 15 copper for a sharpening. Oh. Maybe he will. Alright. Um. Yes. Yes. Lord? Don't you not have time? It's fine. <clears throat> it could be, I'll put it on the list. I'll put it on the list for tomorrow. Just Ari was wanting uh, a sharpening done, and I did not wish to step on your toes, since Ooh, you are the weaponsmith. a lady without a weapon walking around alone. Do you want I was just going to take her take name look down. At Who? Hey, the lady specifically requested the Lord, I so... I just was recommended. It's, it's not an issue. Uh, no. Tyler. Mm. Do you want me to have him look at this? Sure. He is an armor smith. So, he's taking care of it for you. I guess I wouldn't need to take him, but it was a pleasure to meet you, Ari, again. Um, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping me. I do have something for you to do if you have idle hands. I do. I do. What can I do for you? Can you analyze this? Fast <sighs> feet shuffle yeah, up to you. It is a refined piece of metal gray orc armor. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going back with the Nora. I recognize. Yes, it's definitely orc make. All right. But there's something different. Be safe. It's more well made than what I normally see up there near the fortress. Go there if you need help. Normally, it's not as balanced yeah. as this. Do you mind? You know where I am. No, you just can't. Do... I wouldn't recommend you damaging it. it too much. Trying to make sure that it's I'm just still happy to see the density about it. 
You said you got this off an orc. Nearby? Outer settlement, yes. Continue figuring out what you're able to. All right, uh, try to just hand it to the Lord when I'm done. Thank you for taking the time. You. Just give me a minute. I could have left it. I'm sorry. Okay. It's fine. Stay here with him. There's some leave him alone. interesting things happened today in the alleyways. I wouldn't want you unarmed. I have to go back with them. My thoughts exactly. Don't leave him alone. I know that. I'm not. Yeah. Thank you. Go. You said 15th cup. Right? Give it to the armsmith. He needs it. Yeah. If anything happens. He has been very kind today. Uh, I need to give you something. As soon as possible. And I will come running. I can only trust you with this. It's for the Baroness. But don't give it to her now. Only give it to her. Oh, thank you. If you get word that the grove has fallen. Be safe to yourself, okay? I'll become spending this later for that, for that, uh... I would hope that, that I would uh, know beforehand. Drinks. Well, I have to look right. into it. Thank you. Have a good one, Ari. Just cool if it, it looks like that, it is... <laughs> oh, hang on. Come on. All right, have you seen uh, Mr. Stonefist, I think is his name, right? Not since this morning. All right, I'll look around town for him. I got his last potion I need to give him before I leave. Right. To bed down for the night. All right. Be safe. If a certain, if a certain someone is found, he would be pulled immediately behind the palisade walls and kept safe. Than I'm used to. These are more pure yep. form of iron than I'm used to. Okay. You know, most orc make has these impurities in it from the since they can't get all the iron ore out of the rocks that they use. So the fact that they're using the iron they have here, I thought the only iron mine was um, under uh, Radog control. Uh, Marco was saying that they had a mine here. Is that the only mine up and running? It's the only one that we're aware of. But that doesn't account for. Good and tasty. Angry. <clears throat> Does he? Yeah, he looked he looked angry coming around the corner a second ago. <clears throat> He's grumpy. A grumpy boy. Hey, do you want to see the do you want to see the things we added? Sure. Um. So we have the. Where is it? <clears throat> we got this. Also. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clean. He's optimized now too. He's a good model, and the uh, flash powder thingy. <laughs> it's gonna be. So I wanted it so bad to put it right up to Tiberius's face <laughs> and just fucking trigger it. He he gets critically injured from that. You know I, I, I figured. I figured there was something with it. It was like a detriment you, or something. You could kill him. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Look at the griffin. <laughs> Right. So, what <clears throat> I need you to do mm. is make sure you have a little bit of charge because you have a night mission tonight. <clears throat> cool, cool. Yep, I'm charging now. I'll be around. That's a, that's a good lad. Are you laying down? No. I'm leaned back, but I never turned off my trackers. Oh. And I have them plugged in. <laughs> Oh, I see. So, uh, honestly, my forehead's probably against your fucking stomach right now. Uh, yeah, it has hearing, nothing to do with what I want. I'm hearing your your <laughs> voice, like, here, but your your bubble's, like, up here. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little... <clears throat> oh, let's see where I'm at. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh. Dad! No! <laughs> Dad. I didn't want to find you like this. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> I didn't want to find you at all, Drowns. <laughs> oh. Alright, cool. But yeah. <clears throat> yep, I'll be around. That's good. Cool. You're cool. Awesome. You're my cool son. I am your. Is there an uncool son? Oh, there's room for activities. <clears throat> do we want to do shirtless training or regular training? Casually trespassing. Yeah, well, <clears throat> in the words of my great grandpappy, fuck him. I have my grip on this model.
Trying some different stances out. back down this way, wouldn't it? Some good, uh... Oh, this is good. It's all in the footwork, baby. This really does help. Like just getting the movements down again. Practice is... Practice... It's, it's good. <laughs> There's a, probably a saying for this or something, but... Uh... Nobody's perfect. <clears throat> God, you really feel it in the legs, though. I guess we are focusing on footwork. Really twist your body. Put <clears throat> it on charge. Yeah. Yeah, the one on the throne got yanked, unfortunately. They gave me credit, though. Want to put it towards something. <clears throat> Maybe like a, a book or something. <sighs> 
This is good for the boy. He gets gets the dust off. I think this is called Warden or something. Trying to re remember actual moves. Interesting. <clears throat> what do we say to the God of Death? Please! <laughs>
So one of my cables is busted. The thing that's charging my uh had to switch it, have to get a small another one, a little little chargy boy. any extras uh it's just very specific it's the ones that connect the the trackers to the charging straps that i have i'm sure i could rig something up I'm just trying to stop this province from falling apart. <clears throat> like so many issues <sighs> keep doing Asara's work fucking Asara isn't here if that isn't abundantly clear there are no gods here anymore. They have abandoned us. <clears throat> Baby is real. Oh, yeah. He believes in them, he just doesn't think they help much. Thingy is cool. <laughs> Now, how do we get into the castle? I'm honestly thinking like just straight up fucking climbing the wall might be the bet. Because <clears throat> we can't go in, yeah, we can't go over. Snuck into the castle, yeah. <clears throat> Well, 
We had to climb the wall for that, though. We had a spy to climb potion. I don't think we have one of those, do we? No. <laughs> We just might just try and just straight up slip past them. <clears throat> we can just disguise as a QRF member. <clears throat> That'd bring even more questions. We get a disguise of a royal guard. That would mean like actively attacking a guard though. <clears throat> Tiberius said he might be able to get us into the barracks. If we go into the barracks, we might be able to get some gear? Some, like, guard equipment? It might just be a fuck it we ball moment. Which is basically a catapult. <clears throat> so we're hoping that Sarah finds something on Sarkozy while she's there. That's what things are hinging on. Kyler and Tibbs hopefully find something about a mem and anything from Sarkozy would be handy. Anything that could free on. Or an excuse. Which we would probably need anyway. Why would Kyler and Tiberius need to go into the keep?
I think we're a lot better at sneaking than we are lying. He's definitely enjoying the quiet, though. <laughs> Today has been... <laughs> very frustrating for him. Told he's doing something. Might just be a fucking brute force sneak out fucking goddamn way in. Climb the walls, fuck it, we bowl. Gotta do something. Float the idea to Tibbs and see if he has any other idea. Well, that's the thing, is we need the purpose, we need a natural purpose if we're gonna go in that way. These are some nice fucking boots, though. Holy shit. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> He'll think on it.
Tell you what, though, I can feel the EP. Getting out of bed was really hard this morning. <laughs> Oh yeah, I could, I could definitely fall asleep right now. Just pull my chair back and just. <laughs> the map is so fucking beautiful. There's so many like nice little spots that I just want to like chill in, you know. so funny how we can toggle the pail <laughs> while he's got his gloves on. Oh, look at that! Looks like he's been in the water too long. <laughs> Isn't it gross? That's a good bit. I'll do that next time in the bathhouse. I'm just gonna come out all <laughs> wrinkly. Oh, gross.
I kind of miss the rain. The rain was like... The rain was fun. The rain made me fall asleep. Dude, it was so comfy though. Sitting by the forge and having it rain outside it was so comfy. I'm gonna fall asleep, I swear to god. Birds, the sunset, right? Birds, the sunset, the, the waves, the music, it's just like, uh, I just want to lay down. <laughs> I take a nap. You take a nap right here. Yeah, this is the penultimate episode of Before the Break. Got this episode, then we have next episode, and then four months. What are you guys gonna do? I think that flag sideways.
Moment. Oh. Okay. Ooh. How about the one else lives here? The green one. Oh, the other one's green too. Why are all the elves green? Why not green? Uh, I guess maybe like. Hey, Kyla. I don't know. No! Lord Arda, the pleasure this evening. Good to see you. Oh, this might sound silly. Um, but. How much would it cost to get a steel cage made? Like a tiny one. Like this this big. For what? Like a rat. a rat. I've only been assisting them along <clears throat> the lines of the merchants guild. I don't I don't know. Shouldn't cost too Wouldn't much. Would be equivalent to a small steel miscellaneous. Uh like three gold. What? <laughs> Yeah, bullshit tax. That's not far off, actually. You said small steel Ooh. miscellaneous? I've heard, I've, I've heard of this yes. one, bullshit tax. Yeah. Steel. Very, very oh, yeah. What are you keeping in there? It's worse than tariffs. Um, do, 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 do. What kind of rat are you trying to catch? I don't know, a rat. I don't want that the to The mystical bite rat me. that shits golden pellets. That would be, uh, two silver. Nope, wait. Changed my mind. Six silver. There we go. Oh, ow. He read, okay. he read iron miscellaneous instead of steel. Oh. Okay. For the Six record, silver. just so that you're aware of what you're purchasing. Any, Thanks. Anything made of steel is usually two to three times the amount it is for iron. That makes sense. I, I didn't even buy a steel sword yet. I didn't see any purpose in it. I still have an iron sword, but I need this they to be a steel longer. cage. Tortoise. Yeah, it's okay. Cage. <laughs> Chastity, what? question mark? You're going to have people you start what? looking at you funny, Tori. I'm going to be honest with you. More Why? Than usual. What? No, it's no fine. One gets the small it's, it's... steel cage. It's like. I need it! Why does it need to be it's steel? It's steel, though. Iron. We, we, it's we sold important. Iron and wood. No, what? no, no. It, 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 I don't know. I, I, it needs to be steel. That would be... Dun, I'm, dun, done, dun, I'm dun, done trying to reason. I got... I got nothing. You're, you're as lost as <sighs> me, my friend. The... <laughs> The only difference between an iron and a steel cage would be durability, but for something as small as a rat, I doubt that it would be able to break out of anything made of iron. Well, that's that's a really steel. buff the rat. I can I'm planning this. for a worst case scenario. Alright, yeah, um, this time that? tomorrow. Yeah. Perfect, that's great. Thank you. Of course. Glad to be of service. 
place. You wanna mm. hang out? Or are you oh. busy? Gonna go piss, Torty. Oh, go piss, girl. Thank you. Would you mind if I use your forge? Oh, my lord, Erdhart, one last final inquiry. Will you be at the festival tomorrow? I might make an appearance. If you do, I believe I have a debt to you that has been long overdue. Oh, you're you see me, but the finally go gonna by. finally gonna give me the cheese samples that we talked about. I'm gonna give you a cheese befitting that of even. I'm gonna work at the forge. Your caliber higher than your caliber. You'll be on your ass, fucking screaming my name. You'll know me as the greatest cheese maker of all, if you haven't already. <clears throat> you are probably the only cheese maker I know of. So yeah. I'm not about to miss you mince words. Excellent. I will see you there, my <laughs> lord. You have... I have high expectations of you. Don't let me down. Oh, big cheese to fill. Won't be the first time. Big cheese to fill. Do you think oh. I should enter in the art thing? Uh, do you have an artisanal skill? I have cool engravings on leather armor. Maybe that'll be something. You could tie a cool knot. <gasps> I could! <gasps> I could tie a whole knot situation! I, I dropped my rope. I need to get a new rope. Hey, chat. <clears throat> One second. I'll be right back. If we're gonna do a mission, I gotta pee beforehand. See a ship in the harbor. I'm I be a hurt and then I dirty de derp. <laughs> Even that would be a struggle. God damn it. Have you ever tried rolling over a rectangular log? 800 pound rectangular log. Wait, what, what, what did you, what did, Tyler, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What? I didn't see what he did. What? He dropped an anvil on you. He said Acme on it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You don't know why, but you just feel a notion of yourself walking this way. Thoughts run past your mind of everything that's going on. So many things happening. Slowly find your way climbing the tower. Your feet continue to carry you through. The thoughts and things you need to do, the thoughts and minds of your responsibilities, everything just seems so heavy. You begin to look up to the sky, bearing the world it feels like on your shoulders, the city on your shoulders, everything your father has left you. You find yourself just here, Kyler, looking out into the mountains, in the distance, into the sky. All these thoughts running through your mind for a while. As a DM note, please remain here for now. As you look out, Kyler, all these thoughts running through your mind, something catches your eye in the distance off to your left. You see a large bird in the sky? You see the flapping in the distance of a large bird is the only way to describe it. Its wings are very massive. You feel a gust of wind begin to blow as it grows closer 
and closer. And a powerful wind blows almost you flying back. You grab onto the railing itself to hold yourself in place. The pressure blows as you look up and watch as it flies over massive in size. You watch, Kyler, as a figure begins to fall? What the shit is that? And then... Uh, and watch as the figure is saved by this large beast of nature. And you hear the sounds of an eagle screeching through the air. As you slowly watch as it begins to tend you to take flight, the wind pressure blowing your hair all back. You watch as the sun begins to follow its glint of the wings. And you see its speed is immense. As it slowly begins to disappear in the horizon. No. You know, kind of... <laughs> you see nothing at the horizon. Yeah. Did, did I just see a large bird drop a man in the sky? In the streets? Yeah. Um. 
The guards are trying to... They're trying to arrest him, um, but... It, yeah. He's already gone. Yeah, well, he got caught. <laughs> he f flew away. It, yes. On the... Yes. Yes, on a giant bird. No. I, no. It, 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 it looks like a bird. Was it that? Or the... It doesn't fucking make sense. How many other people are riding giant fucking birds? Um... <sighs> well... He, he was talking about wanting to ride it. Do you honestly think it was him? It could have been maybe just some prey it caught. Maybe, but... I, why I don't know. City? Uh. It had to be a griffin. I. It wasn't a full bird. It had. I, I, I'm not sure what it was. It was so large in nature, it was impossible to see that I felt a gust of wind blinding me in the streets. <clears throat> it was quick. It's exactly like he said it looked. Uh. I didn't get a good view on it, so I'll have to uh, presume you're right. Ah. Uh. Huh. You know what? Um. Is he going to be okay? I don't. Ah. Uh. He said griffins were w proud creatures, and if you earn their respect, they'll look after you, but I don't know if he's at that point yet. It, he fell, and it swooped him up again. It caught him. Is that a pride thing? And I don't know. I, I, this is the first time I've ever seen one that isn't printed on a flag or a gauntlet. Well, you're the son! I'm, I'm asking you these questions! I, I would know. assume if it let him get on its back, then it would be fine with it him there, because we could have just nom, right as soon as he got close. But then why would he come here? I don't- maybe he didn't know- I-, I <sighs> Did he have control? Maybe it was a message. Uh. A mess? What kind of message is that? He almost died! I don't fucking know! I don't know what he- Uh? 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 I, 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 I'm, I'm stunned. Stunned. Do you believe in omens? Omens? Yes. Actually, I do. Well... That was what I thought it was. I have... And if he's okay, then... If he went in that direction, that's towards the elven border. I hope he has control over that thing. Because they could... they can shoot. It... They, they will kill him. And it. I mean, uh, do we follow it? It's It's gone. It's... It's gone. It's gone. There is no follow. I don't think I, you could give me the best horses in Gradia, and I couldn't keep up with that. I have the best horse in Gradia. You couldn't keep up with that. 
Well. Well, that was something. That, um... You know, I, I boast of your father quite a bit. Um, and I will honestly say that is another one I've never seen something done <laughs> ever and never will again. He talked about his father Probably. used to write a griffin. But I remember him saying it, but like Ah. <sighs> uh. I'm kind of stun locked. <laughs> yeah, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm right there with you. Um, ah. It's probably got the townspeople in a tizzy, that's for sure. Uh, the, the guards were screaming, what the fuck are we supposed to do about that? <laughs> Nothing. That's the point. Can't have the men, he'll have the beast. Oh, he... I'm not sure if he even has the beast, let's be honest here, he might be dead. Well, no one's riding after him, so... What could keep up with that? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm looking that way in case his like... retinue or whatever is following, trying to follow him. <laughs> I mean, who could keep up with that? I, I just said no horse could <laughs> keep up with that. Yeah. Okay, um... Eh. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's very accurate. Very one ac the, accurate. One of those times you just kind of got to nod your head, I suppose. The, the, the nodding your head, yes. Could you imagine if he fell and, like, right in the middle of town? I mean, uh, it looked like that for a little bit, based off what I was seeing. Uh, it looked like he was about to die, if that was him. Maybe he doesn't I have see control. That well, to be honest. I was up in the tower, so the whole thing. Well, uh, I hope the guards aren't sending a patrol out. They well, probably will, and realize very quickly it's hopeless. Yeah. They might not even realize it was him. <clears throat> And that's probably for the best. Yeah, truthfully. <sighs> Send everyone inside or something? Uh, it might have stirred up a panic. Hi. Uh, Gosman. Uh, where are the others? But please, do you, you also saw that. Hmm. The, the thing in the, the, the... Were you outside for that? Stand stout, Guardsman. Everyone looks to you for advice and, and also for more support during troubling and turmoil times. Uh, no, I feel... I, all sorts of things right now. I saw a griffin, I think. It looked like a giant bird to me. I I tried to report it and everyone laughed at me in the cape and I'm back down here. <laughs> that seems pretty accurate, Rubiki. And I, I believe I saw, I believe Arnulf on the damn thing. I saw the colors. That would be crazy. It's kind of hard, 
hard to hide something like that. <laughs> I mean, he was a falling object. Uh, I'm surprised you even recognized him. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if Ahn hadn't loaded my head with stories about it, I probably wouldn't have <laughs> believed it myself. Oh, Lord, be careful you possess by something. It was shifting in ways of... Oh, well. You, stop, you were speaking drow for a moment. Am I back? Oh god, you still laugh.